Welcome back to Sky Sports News, where you join us on a sad day in football. Former England and Tottenham manager Terry Venables has passed away at the age of 80. Venables managed England from 1994 to 1996 and led them to the semi-finals of Euro 96 at Wembley. He also took charge of Barcelona, Queen's Park Rangers, Crystal Palace and Australia. The Venables family released the following statement around an hour ago. We are totally devastated by the loss of a wonderful husband and father who passed away peacefully yesterday after a long illness. We would ask that privacy be given at this incredibly sad time to allow us to mourn the loss of this lovely man who we were so lucky to have had in our lives. One of Venables clubs who are in action today is Tottenham. They're playing Aston Villa. They had this to say. The club is extremely saddened to learn of the passing of former player and manager Terry Venables. Our deepest condolences are with Terry's friends and family at this incredibly difficult time. In tribute, we shall hold a minute's applause prior to kickoff, and our players will wear black armbands during this afternoon's fixture against Aston Villa. Leeds United have paid tribute to their former manager Venables, saying everyone at Leeds United Football Club is deeply saddened to learn of the passing of former manager Terry Venables. Our thoughts and condolences are with Terry's family and friends at this incredibly sad time. Rest in peace, Terry. The club where Terry Venables began his playing career, Chelsea, have released a statement. They say everyone at Chelsea Football Club is deeply saddened to learn of the passing of former Blue, Terry Venables, aged 80. The thoughts and condolences of everyone at the club are with his family and friends at this difficult time. Rest in peace, Terry. Another of his former clubs, both as a player and manager, was in West London at Queen's Park Rangers. And Queen's Park Rangers have said, we are deeply saddened by the passing of former QPR player and manager Terry Venables. All our thoughts are with his loved ones at this incredibly sad time. May he rest in peace. Gents, you've been hearing those reflections. They pour in from some of the biggest mm. names in English football. Lee, how would you remember Terry Venables? I think, obviously, going back to the Euros and just watching the reel there, you know, he was pretty multi-talented, wasn't he, by, by all accounts. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you look at the Southgate penalty miss there and, you know, he's consoling him, he's, he's around him. It, it, it really is like an emotional sort of scene you see again because it takes you back to when we, we, we obviously had to go through that situation. But, you know, I think just looking at that squad of players back then, you know, he had some real big players, didn't he, to, to really go by. And, and as I said, he got the best out of players. You can tell he's got a real aura about his, his style. He reminds me of, I mean, I worked under Big Ron and he, he really does, you know, resemble some of the things that he does. He likes to sing, he, you know, he's got the banter around the change. But, you know, he's, he's obviously been an unbelievable manager at club and, and, and country level. So, you know, it's, it's a sad day when you look over the, the situation and, and, you know, listen, he, he's, like I said, he, you know, he's made people happy um, and he's made people smile. Jamie, how do you feel about the way he's remembered so fondly by the, the people he played for? Because Gary Neville points mm -hmm. out that he had to make tough decisions at times and he, he was definitely the boss. Yeah but that he was able to execute it with this warmth and, and level of understanding. It seems to be the, the theme. Yeah, I, I mean, that obviously says a lot about him as a character. And, you know, you can see, obviously, watching the reel, it's quite emotional, actually, mm -hmm. watching it. You know, he's such a charismatic man. But what a life he's had. You know, you think of the achievements that he's had, not just in football, but just in his personal life as well. And, you know, you watch back and you see that and you go, you know, what... What an incredible life that man has had. You know, there's a lot of people in life go through um, you know, can say they could, they've coasted through life. And, you know, he certainly hasn't. You know, he's, he has achieved the maximum out of his life. And, you know, he should be celebrated forever. And what he's done as a, an England manager, as a Tottenham manager, going to Barcelona, you know, singing, being an entrepreneur, you know, just having the, the life he's had with his family. You know, absolutely amazing, an amazing achievement. What a life he's had. And, um, you know, you, you, you sit there and you watch it and, you know, you see him now all Southgate, Lineker, Venables coming out, England, Tottenham making statements. You know, that says how much he's meant to a lot of people. And, um, you know, we can only sit here in awe of, of you know, what he is as a man. And uh, he's obviously touched a lot of people, a lot of big players, a lot of football players who have achieved incredible things in the game. And they hold him in high regard. And that, for me, is... What I would want, you know, is not only as I've achieved a lot in, in my career, but to have people, you know, at the end saying how much they loved you as a person, 
is the most important thing for me. Yeah, brilliant documentary, Lee, wasn't there? A man could brilliant. dream about Terry Venables <laughs> in, in 2021. A lot of those uh, great pictures I was nearly, there. I was nearly crying. Yeah, 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 it's, really, it was. It's, it's, it's emotional. But, it's emotional. But that, that idea of dream and, and inspiration, I suppose, for people, whether they're football fans or not, his life story, because of what he did in football and outside of it, almost... Yeah does create that in a sort of like think, almost an American dream kind of yeah, way. Yeah, I think that's what it is. And, and you know, listen, we sit here as, as football fans and, and, and ex-players and, and pundits and, you know, you sometimes forget, you know, that he has got a personal life. And it's pretty clear that, you know, he, he, was, he was not just all about football. You know, he, he, had a, he had a way about him with his family. And, and as Jamie said, the, the, the journey that he's come on and what he's been on, it's, it's remarkable, you know, it, it gives you that, that feel where, like I've said, you know, it's emotional just mm. seeing the real, and it's a, it's a great real, it really is, because mm. it just highlights what an amazing guy that Terry Venables actually was and what he brought to his family, to football, football people. Um, outstanding, it really is, and, and listen, the tributes are going to flow through day and night because mm. he's, he's, he's a remarkable guy, and, you know, I've, I've never met him, but to see that and to, to watch him as a kid when he was, when, when he was managing England, you know, you, you just think that unbelievable and, and you know, celebrate his life because he, he's, he's had some journey. What will the Tottenham players in the dressing room be thinking at the moment, Jamie? How will they be processing the news and, and how it may well affect the atmosphere today at the stadium? Um, I think it just gives them an extra incentive to go into the game. It's a big game anyway for, for Tottenham and, you know, obviously you, you've... Uh, sadly, you know, one of our former managers has, has passed away and, you know, the fans obviously are going to give a really nice tribute. They're going to be up for the game. They're going to be singing Terry Venables and the players will want to go out there and, and, you know, make the fans proud and make Terry Venables proud and his family. So, you know, I think it's, you know, Tottenham are always good when it comes to things like this. Um, you know, the, the atmosphere is going to be brilliant. And I think we should, we should celebrate what Terry Venables is, as, you know, not only as a manager and a player, but the life he's had as well and what he's done for a lot of people. And I think the players will go out there today and, you know, they're going to do their best to, to, to make and put on a show for, for him and his family. I'm talking about the man as a, a coach, Lee, fascinating tribute and, and long and, and really intelligent, thought-provoking piece from Gary Neville in tribute to Terry Van Ols, but specifically highlighting his role during Euro 96. I mean, given that right-back burst, at times he was encouraged to be a right winger, he was a right wing-back. How much will he be remembered for, for his technical, tactical flexibility? I think that's what it was. We, that sort of era, if you like, was was very routine in, in the way teams set up and the style that they played. You know, it was, if we said it, you know, it was like a 4 4 2 set up for most teams back in the day and it was get the ball out wide and he had something different. And, and that's where, you know, you're hearing Gary Neville saying, you know, he played him in different positions, he tried different things. And I remember working under the likes of John Greggy, and we were scared to wear different colour boots and stuff. He, I think Terry Venables was not that kind of guy. He was a kind of player's guy, wasn't he, where he'd come and put his arm around you and, and you know, as, as, he, as people have said, you know, he'd get the best out of his players. Um, you know, he, he just seemed an unbelievable guy. And obviously Gary Neville saying the, the way he set up his tactics, his style, he changed the game, he really mm. did. And, and that's where top managers go on and do... And, and be successful, and that's what Terry Venables did.